what's up guys Gary here for GenVFX welcome to a new tutorial it's been a while I know it's been uh, if I haven't done one since last year well okay it's only just February but still you know feels like a long time ago uh, but I've been very busy and uh, stuff's been going on in fact a little piece of what's been going on is what we're going to be using today so today we're going to be talking about referencing which is a term that I would really use mostly primarily with Maya, but referencing is a way of taking something you've already built, an element you've already built and rigged, and then link it to your scene. And normally, if you do it in other software, it means that anything that you have in there, like a controller or a rig, or um, just something which you can animate. Uh, so like just bends in arms or just things rotating, anything, when you bring those in, those are accessible, they're available and there is uh, a way to do it in blender and i didn't know there was and when i found out i was like yes i have to share this and it worked out as a prime opportunity for me to actually do this as a tutorial as well so hello it's me and hello it's me oh but copyright but be careful anyway um so basically i'm going to bring in an asset and this is part of something that i'm working on in a minute and i'm going to bring in ref flybot there you go so i have here a little Kind of a flying robot a bit of a drone type thing and you can see i've got some controllers here so i've got a controller for rotating the eye the bit on the outside is um i've just made it and made it so it displays in wireframe because it's glass so i could see what that was doing we've got some uh, fans which tilt like this on both sides and then we've got some blades here which uh rotate in the out in fact if i just press alt on that one it should rotate them both there you go so, so we can get this sort of like, and well, it makes it animatable basically. And everything I have there is in the right place and does exactly what I want and makes me very happy. That is basically just to hold all those bits there in the middle. So that's why that's looking okay. And everything there is correct. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come out of this cause I know that's fine. So let's just, let's uh, open up a brand new scene. So let's do a general. Uh, save changes. No, I'm not going to save them. There, everything's fine. I'm going to delete that box. I'm going to add in a grid. I'm going to scale that by 10. And let's just pop on the wireframe just because I like to be able to see them. And I'm going to leave that there because that's my floor plane. But now I need to link in my file. So if I just go back here a bit, uh, we're actually in my project and I'm going to go into assets, characters, robots because it's a robot and reference flybot there's some other stuff in there as well this needs a bit of a tidy up and it will have it but right now i want to just link this in so i'm going to press link and then it's going to ask me what i want from that scene now i actually do want that collection because that collection's not got just the objects in it's got all the controllers in as well so that to me if i then did this and went link that would come in and it would be something with all the bits that i can control but you know what i can't i can lift it up I can rotate it, but essentially I've just got basic transforms of the whole thing. Now that, there must be a way that I can create an override so that my library stuff actually comes in and it's usable. And that's the thing. That's exactly it. It's literally that. It is an override. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to very quickly save this scene as, and I'm going to save it as da da da. Air shots, test shots, and I'm going to flybot anim three, which that's good. I've just saved that as flybot anim three, so that's fine. So what I've got here is my object in the floor, and I'm going to go object library override and make. And immediately you'll notice that's changed position, and it's no longer one big object. It still is. It still is completely, but. It is actually still, it's now given me all of my little bits. So I can now animate this. So let's go across to animate uh, because we can. I'm going to change that from the dope sheet to the graph editor. I keep forgetting it's control and uh, tab will do that. Toggle between the two. So there we are. Anyway, let's go into my flybot. Animbot, I'm going to pop on the animbot and I'm going to press T in here to bring up my controllers. Controllers. And let's bring this up and put it somewhere where it's above the ground. I'm going to go into here as well. And I'm going to very quickly just put on everything. And so we can see the ground and stuff. And I'm going to go Alt-C. And this is a shortcut I created. 
so I can adjust my camera view without having to actually fumble around with it, trying to find stuff. So Alt C, we'll freeze that. It's probably pressing Alt C again to toggle out. So now I've got my camera and if I move away from it, I can zoom in and we'll do whatever I need to do. But there it is. So I've got my Anim Flybot and I'm going to press N and I'm going to put a keyframe in the cut, a third keyframe in the Z and delete. I'm going to insert a single keyframe in the Z like that. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And I'm going to open the modifiers and I'm going to add to that noise and I'm going to set the keyframe length to 125 and I'm going to go file save just to be sure. I'm going to press play and now you can see that's, that's obviously that's not correct. That's nuts. So let's scale this up until it feels a bit more like a sensible sort of like lift and fall. Maybe even still a little bit first. Set that to 10 and the strength is going up quite, quite a bit between. It's going, it's traveling of a strength of one. So it's moving one unit. So I'm going to put that to 0.25. So it's just a little drift. Ooh, that's nice. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to keyframe on the X, not the X, sorry. Let's not do that. The keyframe on the Y. I'm going to put a keyframe actually, it's a single keyframe on the Y at zero. I'm going to go here again. Let's just do this and go Y. And I'm going to add a modifier to this and also noise. If I see this, you see, ah, it's been hit by major fasty stuff. I'm just doing this for a reason. I promise there is a reason for this. I'm going to set that to 12 and the strength to 0.1. So we end up with this kind of like, just this sort of like bobbing thing. And then very quickly, and I will do this as you know quickly as I can. I'm going to do some right blade animation. So let's go over to our first frame one. And I'm going to insert a single keyframe. I'm going to insert a single keyframe. I'm going to insert a single keyframe. And I'm going to insert a single keyframe. So they've all got now they've all got um, keyframes on the Z or the Z. If you want to call it that, so I've got all those there. I'm going to go all the way to here to 125 and I'm going to go I insert on selected channels. So I've got there, I'm going to GZ, I'm going to push this up and I need to make this a very high number. So it looks like they're spinning because they are. There we go. And let's go TL to make them linear and let's just go and I want to frame all of that. So let's go view. Let's go frame all. Boom. There we go. So if I play this back. Just deselect those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're running. They look like they're going really slowly. And that's probably because they are. So let's very quickly select those blades again. And move those keyframes in the Y. And go all. And then press dot Let's frame it all. And let's deselect and click and go play. There you go. Now that is going fast. And that's kind of our animation. So if I go file, uh, save, I've got that animation. Now, this is the reason I'm going to show you now the reason why you do this. Okay, so I'm going to go, that's all saved. So let's now open up recent, open up ref flybot. And I'm going to add to this a cube. And I'm just going to call it rubbish and I'm going to drag it into our it's already actually in our collection which is handy let's just let's go into the edit mode a bit and just scale it down so scale it down and leave it there so it's there okay object files and I'm going to file I'm just going to save this because I'm not messing with anything I've just put that in there so now we go open recent we go flyboat animation 3 and you'll see that that has come in now that's actually not collect. It wasn't physically connected to a robot. It was just part of our scene. So if I go back here and I'm going to attach it to it properly. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put with my finger on shift. I'm going to drag it and drop it into and in flybot. There you go. So that's part of there. Go file save and then I go back. Let's go again. Open recent and open up flybot and in three and now play it back. And you see I've made a change in that reference and it's animated in here and we've not lost any animation. 
and it's automatically updated that. Now that is wonderful and that just the fact that you can do that is brilliant and the animation is just in this scene. So you can have that object and you can reference it in and you can make library overrides to it and it's just fantastic. That That is just one wonderful thing because it does mean that you can practically use anything that you've built as a reference object. Right, okay, that's pretty much it, guys. That was it. I mean, poof, quick, easy. Well, quick. Um, actually easy. It's not difficult, that. Um, anyway, I will uh, hopefully see you in the next one. And there it is. My, uh, my little flying robot. Um, it, you can move, obviously, you can move the... Um, you can move the eye as well, but you know, and also the aerial bends. But yeah, so that's that reference. That's that reference object, animatable in any scene, and purely because all you did was go object library override, and you made it, which is great. So there you go. Uh, reference objects, as they should be, working in Blender. Right. Well, I hope that's been some use to you. And um, okay, guys, let's try in this 2024 to do more of these uh so take care of yourselves and uh i'll see you in the next one bye